In this lesson, I'll be talking about how to crop photos into shapes, like a circle. So this is the layout I'm working with. I have a quote that I love and a photo of the, the speaker of the quote, Oscar Wilde. Be yourself, everyone else is already taken. It's a great message and this is something I've seen in presentations that are visionary or are part of a thought leadership conference and it can be part of any everyday presentation as well if you want to connect to your audience deeply and just have an inspirational quote to share. So what's happening with this layout right now is my eyes are being directed immediately to the photo and I'm having a hard time leaving that photo and going to the quote because the photo, first of all, is big. It's taking up the whole left-hand side of my slide. And it's very high contrast, meaning that there's a lot of rich darks in the photo and a lot of bright whites. So it's sort of distracting in a way. What I want to do is introduce some more balance to allow my audience's eyes to move more freely from my photo to my quote. And a great way to do that is to introduce some more negative space into the slide. A negative space is just a fancy term for the empty space in your slide, like the upper portion here where there's nothing and down here below the quote. The photo and the, the content is what breaks up your negative space, but that empty space is really important for creating balance. So let's go ahead and crop this into a circle. I'm using a circle here because it's part of our brand system. It's really important to stay consistent within a look and feel. It makes you look more <laughs> makes you look more professional and it really helps sell your messages. So with my photo selected, I'll go ahead and choose the format tab here. And instead of just clicking on my crop button, I will choose this drop down menu and say crop to shape. When I hover over here, I can see that almost any shape in my PowerPoint, well, actually any PowerPoint shape is available to you. I could use this chevron here. That's not really the look I'm going for, but if that's a part of your brand, it's kind of cool. It's part of your brand, if there's chevrons in your brand, that might be something you'd want to think about. Since we wanna use circles, I'm going to choose the oval shape. The photo is taller than it is wide, so the crop is actually not a perfect circle, and I would like it to be. This is called the aspect ratio. It's basically the width of my photo versus the height. In this case, the height is longer or taller. So I can sort of eyeball this. If I select the crop tool, I can to uh, select my, click on my top crop button and, and see, oh, that kind of looks like a perfect circle. Or I can be really precise about it and use the aspect ratio tool in PowerPoint, which is what I'm going to do. So I'll choose my crop drop down menu and there's an aspect ratio option here, and I want it to be perfectly equal one-to-one -one ratio, so I'll go ahead and select that. And now I know that I have a perfect circle crop, and I'll go ahead and set that crop by clicking on the <laughs> crop button. How many times can I say crop? <laughs> and all I want to do now is make sure that this photo is not taking up so much space here. It's butting up right to the edge of my slide, which is distracting for my audience. It's creating this awkward tension. So I'll select my corner handle here, and just a quick tip, if you hold down Control Shift while you scale your photo down, it will actually scale it from the center, which is just a handy tool that I use often when I have a photo placed exactly where I want it to be. So I'm happy with, with the way this looks. I have enough visual breathing room between my quote and my photo, and the emphasis is pretty equal. I'm just gonna take this one step further since I am a designer, I am working with a brand that uses a circular frame around photos. And it's something that is introduces a little bit more color to my slide. It also houses the photo in a way that allows my audience to know that that's the end of this piece of content and they can navigate easily with their eyes to the quote. So I'll select my circle shape from my PowerPoint shape options. And if I click and drag on my slide while holding down the shift key, this will keep the proportions of that shape equal, which is exactly what I want. And I want it to just sit right around my photo, acting as a sort of frame. And it also brings in a nice teal element that ties in with Oscar Wilde's name and his um, title or who he was, our 19th century Irish author. So now you have a layout with an image and a quote that you can repeat throughout your presentation. Hopefully this will save you some time in the future when you're trying to figure out the best way to uh, lay out a slide like this. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.